Dogs are truly man's best friend. They are capable of great intuition and kindness. We should be as empathetic to their needs as they are to ours. Unfortunately, not everyone agrees. see the images through your screen every single day and you see the videos of the torture and you see it happen on your computer screen. But to see it face to face right there live uh, was something that I really was not prepared for. I think something that we need to remember is that the majority of these dogs are companion animals and are stolen pets. We know for a fact that some are pets because we've seen videos of them being snapped up off the street. We've got video of trucks load of dogs arriving at the Union Festival and when they take them off they've had collars on and chips in them. People's pets, how would you feel if it was your pet? It's unbelievable. It was just so nice to have this community of everyone working together and everyone stepping in and everyone pitching in so that we can try and have a common goal which is to save the dogs. <laughs> Most of the beliefs surrounding the Yulin festival and consumption of dog meat don't even make sense, culturally or according to Chinese medicine. When I look at dogs as man's best friend, I just don't understand the whole premise of eating dog meat. <laughs> A bronze cooking pot dated back to the Qin dynasty was discovered containing the bones of an ancient dog. But dog was never a major source of meat for the Chinese. In fact, it was shameful to serve dog meat at the table, especially for guests. Chinese文化上面呢，就是温、热、寒来盖过。Chinese tradition and medicine greatly believes in balance. Yin and Yang have to work together in harmony. 